Yo, what's up guys, it's JRD bringing you another class setup video. In today's video, we're using that Cold War MP5. I actually really like this Cold War MP5, guys. The damage output on this gun is really good compared to the Modern Warfare MP5. But yeah, the Modern Warfare MP5 is just like, you know, you have a lot more mobility with it. You can just like run around people hit firing and stuff like that. But the Cold War MP5 here, it's got a little bit more damage and it's got a little bit less mobil mobility, you know, which is fair. It's definitely, you know, if it had a lot more damage and it had the same mobility as the other MP5, then this thing would just be insane. Before we get into these attachments, guys, you already know I'm going to need you to go and drop a like on the video it takes two seconds and it helps me out a lot so i really appreciate it if you guys could just leave a like on the video also if you guys are new here consider subscribing i post daily warzone content and best class setups for you guys to watch every single day so if you guys do like the content and you like the class setup then you know consider subscribing but yeah guys let's get right into these attachments all right so for my first attachment i was running this agency suppressor guys we got sound suppression vertical recoil control and bullet velocity and effective damage range we do have a few cons here you know some abs speed and some aiming stability but you know we're going to be using this gun up really close and stuff so those really don't matter too much uh, you know the aim down sight speed we can just hit fire if the guy's close enough and the aiming stability doesn't matter too much because we're going to be really close so the pros definitely outweigh the cons so i definitely recommend you guys put this uh, attachment on now for my second attachment here i'm going to be running the 9.5 inch task force barrel gives us some uh, effective damage range bullet velocity and some strafe speed as well you know the strafe speed is the main thing for the uh, the task force barrel because this is an smg you know we're going to want some added strafe speed if we don't have this attachment on guys it's going to be pretty bad so i i recommend you guys put on this attachment if you guys want to be sliding around and jumping around a lot more quicker with this gun all right guys for my under barrel here most people would probably tell you to run the steel agent grip on the mp5 uh, for me, I don't really think you need it. The MP5 just has a lot of kick in the beginning, and I don't think a lot of people realize that, that the gun doesn't have too much um, recoil. It's just that when you um, when you first start shooting, it does have like a lot of kick at like, the first three shots. So as soon as you get past that, the gun is pretty easy to control. So I don't think you need the field agent grip at all. Uh, personally, I run the bruiser grip. It gives me some movement speed and some hip fire accuracy, which comes out really, really clutch with this gun. Now, I recommend this. You guys can run the field agent grip if you want. But uh, personally, this is what I'm just running. All right, for my ammunition, it's nothing really special. I'm just running the standard 50 round mag. I would say run the uh, 50 round fast mag, but I think it just takes away too much aim down sight time. You guys are just gonna aim down sight way too slow, so I really don't recommend running this attachment. Just run the 50 round uh, standard mag. And for the last attachment here, guys, I was running this ember sighting point. It's gonna be, give me some effective damage range and some hip fire accuracy. The main thing here is that hip fire accuracy, guys. We're gonna be, we have a lot of attachments on here that are gonna help with the hip fire accuracy. You know, the gun's already got a pretty good spray pattern, but with all these attachments on here, you know, we're really not going to be missing that many shots from the hip. So you guys will see in the gameplay, this gun is really, really good. Yeah, guys, that was the attachments. But before you click off, you know, this is a class setup video. So most of you guys are just going to get these attachments and leave the video, you know, which causes the video to do really bad. So if you guys could just like spend, you know, three minutes, four minutes watching the video, it's going to really help it out. And I promise you guys won't be disappointed with the gameplay. You guys aren't going to get bored or anything. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could do that. Let's go. 
Let's grab this load out. Or grab a UAV, rather. See where these people are at. Oh, uh, we got a lot over there. A lot of them in Alright, I'm gonna try and sneak up on these guys up top. Well, there's one guy below. It's an easy kill. That's not even his teammates up top here, so they shouldn't know I'm coming up here. Oh, they're on the staircase. They're not even up here. between those bars. And I got two people, I've got an aim at. I really thought it was dead there.
Inventory's full, wow, I gotta wait for the steady. Alright, I'm gonna go up into here, there's a lot of people over here. The harbor, oh my god. into something. Oh, that was broken. Twenty meters. Let's pop a UAV. Still okay. Wait, there's a guy up here. people on the side.
was the same guy that killed me earlier. <laughs> He's got the street sweeper. There's two guys above me, his teammates. They both went into here. This kid has a sprayer. Yeah, I do. Oh, he took my kill. Oh my god, I thought that was an enemy, dude. for them to run. Yes, let's go teammates. Alright, 3v3, come on. They have to come back towards us too. I'm gonna reload here and then... Oh, they're in the heli. Wait, no, there's, they're not all in the heli. There's a guy one, there's one guy above us. I wanna make sure he's not right in this corner. Yeah. Right. They're both above us, they have to be. Downtown? This is heavily boy. There we go, GG. <laughs>